Hello. Beep 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 beep. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the court of the digester. What's well, a special? Hey, just a special, which you know, of course, always means generally. Always means generally. <laughs> but there's good news. I'm cock hoop about this. Cock a hoop, I tell you. They don't like it up them. <laughs> That's what the series should be called. They don't like it up them, right? Okay. So here we go. Social worker suspended over gender critical views, awarded fifty eight thousand. This is a game changer. <laughs> so my congratulations to Rachel Mead and her team who have faced the most incredible fight over the last couple of years against Westminster City Council and Social Work England. Now, uh, Rachel, gender critical woman, uh, posting stuff on Facebook, Twitter, some Norse makes a complaint and Westminster Council and Social Work England go into a meltdown of trans fury. <laughs> trans fury, right, okay. So, um, she was harassed, plain and simple. This is a really important case, folks, and I can't underestimate how important it is, in that Social Work England is like the body, a governing body, that oversees the behaviour of social workers that oversees the professionalism of social workers, rather like, I don't know, in the legals, is it the Bar Association? Is it something like that? You know, doctors, we've got like the General Medical Council. So you're talking about Social Work England, major body, in one of the most important professional spheres in the country when it comes to the care and welfare, for example, of children or vulnerable people. So this is a very important case against that particular body and Westminster Council, who, Westminster, that's like in the middle, it's sort of London isn't it, in the middle. I mean, they've got to be a snooty bunch of buggers. <laughs> Westminster Council, with central London here. Or is it, I, I said, all right, Governor, you know, step in time, step in time. <laughs> Westminster Council, right? So, a social worker who was suspended over her gender critical views from has been awarded almost 8, 58 grand in damages from Westminster City Council and Social Work England. Well, first things first, that should be 580,000. We've got to stop this with these wimpy awards. Right? These awards need to be huge and painful. Like a gouge of the buttock. Right? Painful and huge. 58k. Get a grip. You can buy ads for that. Should be at least it should be at least 250,000 these awards. It's insane how little it is. So in what lawyers described as an unprecedented move by a court to award exemplary damages against a regulator. Now, this is the bit that's causing the failure array. In that, a legal feminist, I'll try and find it in a minute, a legal feminist couldn't say, couldn't say that there's been another case where exemplary damages have been awarded against a governing body like this. Now, what exemplary damages mean in terms of a simplistic summing up of it, really? Because if you look at what Sarah Fillimore is saying, or um, Legal Feminist and Dennis Kavanagh will have something out later today about this. What we're talking about is this is like the head boy getting his bottom smacked, right? But really badly by a cane with 52 onlookers clapping while somebody films it in a helicopter from a cam with a camera in a helicopter. <laughs> it's showing them the, the most disdain that the court is able to show to the behaviour of the individual body or individual, right? So it really is very important. Uh, it is both the watchdog and the and the Westminster stepping time uh, city. <laughs> okay, have now got to train. <laughs> They've got to train their staff in freedom of belief, the principles of freedom of belief. <laughs> They've been forced by the court to do it, and they've got a certain amount of time in which to do it. Now I'm saying, yeah, I'm right here. Just give us a show. I'll design it. We can we can do it together. I'll design it, but then we'll give Sex Matters a show and Audrey a few of the others and we'll all get together we'll put together a nice package for you look we can do it at a good price so Westminster Council or Social Work England while your bum's still stinging give us a call <laughs> I'll sort you out with some freedom of expression training so you people damn well know they don't support this type of horrific totalitarianism ever again in the future I can help you with that while well, your teachers can help you with it too but I will I, I, it should be me I want to be I am the woke finder general <laughs> 
<laughs> Come and feed my delusion of grandeur. <laughs> so, Rachel has said that she was delighted. I mean, ever, you've got to remember, people chipped in, me included, to Rachel's... Was it Rachel's I gave to? Oh, God, I can't remember now. You do, don't you? Give us so many. But Rachel, was, Rachel, people chipped in for Rachel to achieve, which is fantastic. And she's given us, she's given us in her fight along with her legal team, a fantastic tool which can now be used against others. In particular, I'm thinking of Manchester City Council. Get ready, Bev. I'm coming. I'm coming. I've already tagged her in, saying what you're doing. Because I've now heard from councillors in Manchester who have been treated in the same way because they don't believe. It's just fantastic. It's like it's the flick of the domino in V, in it. Down it goes. I'm just very excited by it all. Rachel has said, delighted with such a positive judgment after such a long and dreadful experience. It's been a hard fight, but I feel relieved and liberated that justice and freedom of speech have prevailed. Absolutely. Bede from Dartford, Kent, had sued the Council on Social Work England in 2022 for harassment and sex discrimination after she was suspended over her belief that a person cannot change their sex. It's not, it is a belief, but it's also a fact. It's just a fact. And the sooner we stop with this nonsense, the better for everybody concerned. The regulatory sanction and employer's warning has both been withdrawn before the tribunal case was heard, so they knew that they were in trouble. You know, they were going, right, come on, we'll get this mead woman. And then somebody obviously went, hang on. Went, oh, no, we won't get this mead woman. I understand that they're represented by um, uh, uh, Robin Mouldy, uh, Robin Mouldy Wright, is it? Uh, not Mouldy, Mo uh, Robin, uh, Robin Moore of Fright. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> Robin Mouldy Fright. <laughs> uh, we should take him out of the boat, drop him over it and leave him. Then he'd be Bobbin Mouldy Wright. <laughs> So this is a real big kick in the teeth to the trans nutters and all their associates. So, it's just so good, folks. It's just so good, 58K. And you're going to see a lot of comment, and that's what we want to see, um, and understand more about exactly what happened. But the judge said that the regulator, this is just in, amazing, said that not only had Rachel been completely vindicated, completely vindicated, but that the... The uh, tribunal judge, Richard and Nicole, said that Social Work England's actions constituted a serious abuse of its powers as a regulatory body. The judge said the regulator had allowed its process to be subverted to punish and suppress. More of these coming, folks, by the way, means lawful political speech and to do so on the grounds of her protected beliefs. In doing so, it violated her right to free speech as protected under human rights law. The judge added that the regulator had a preordained view that Meade's beliefs were unacceptable. They had a preordained view. Calling Stonewall. Stonewall Law. Are you there, Stonewall? Bloody Stonewall would give him a preordained view. No, this is what you, you're right. You must be right. And then Stonewall will go, I'm afraid that we don't give legal advice. If you look at our terms and conditions, we don't say that. <laughs> like that other one from Mermaids. That bloody, look like something out of um. The Little Mermaid, Ursula looking woman. <laughs> we don't give her medical advice from roommates. <laughs> I just, it's like the bleating, the, the bleating of the hams. <laughs> well done, Rachel. I'm so pleased for it. It just makes me so happy today. All of its managers and human resources staff receive training. And, and Social Work England should, within six months, ensure that all of its triage staff, investigating staff, and case examiners shall receive training on freedom of expression and protected belief. It's just. Well done, Rachel. Links in the doobery to the article in the Times. Go and take a look at Legal Feminist and what they've got to say. And then Dennis will have something to say later on today. Other than that, got Rachel. To you and your team, congratulations. Thank you very much. You've done us a great service. Not least of all me, who's now going to use this to hit Manchester Council over the head with a very big bat. Thank you very much indeed. Become a teacher, buy me a coffee, do the usual, but like, share and subscribe. See ya!